Next, the US Army is widening its recruitment pool by allowing people with a history of serious mental illness to enlist. But psychiatrists warn that it could cause further harm to vulnerable recruits. Caleb Maupin has the story. Mental health issues no longer rule you out of serving in the American Army. At this point, according to documents acquired by USA Today, if you have a history of depression, drug and alcohol abuse, bipolar disorder, or even self-mutilation, you can apply for a waiver and join the U.S. military. The decision was primarily due to the increased availability of medical records and other data, which is now more readily available. These records allow Army officials to better document applicant medical histories. What's more important, if you look at the reasons, is that the Army is having trouble recruiting new soldiers. The number of waivers for marijuana use have increased as well. Chief of Staff Mark Milley says that the Army should be between 540,000 and 550,000. But at this point, it's only 476,000 active duty personnel. People just aren't signing up. Many of today's youth are um, not inclined to want to leave their family and friends. They don't want to leave their relatives. Family and friends, they oppose them joining the military service. It was kind of sad to find out, for me being a prior soldier, that the American public, when we did the research, they thought of the Army as the lower left-hand quadrant, and we joined the Army because we had nothing else to do. Lowering the standards of recruitment makes sense, but it does present some problems. In 2005, the standards were lowered for similar reasons, and as a result, the level of basic education among troops dramatically decreased. By 2007, about 30 percent of America's fighting men and women did not have a high school diploma. In 2012, the standards and restrictions went up. But now, once again, there's a shortage of people in uniform. So once again, the rules are changing. A lot of the standards have been changed and adjusted. We have relaxed uh, the standards too much, in my opinion. We have recruited uh, very heavily uh, in the volunteer force of what I would call the lower middle class and the lower class in our societies that uh, are not wealthy. And that, that is a fact. The volunteer army uh, is very expensive to uh, fund, to uh, educate, to train, and so on. The, incursion and movement into the Middle East the way we did into Afghanistan and Iraq. That took a heavy toll on our armed forces. The United States boasts of having the most powerful military in the world. But if you look at how far they're willing to go in lowering the standards of who can be recruited, it seems there are fewer Americans that want to be part of it. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.